Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is a single mom and guided life where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. So, welcome, accountability partners. <laughs> so, you know, I was struggling with doing this video now or waiting because I was like, hey, get up in the morning, do some side gigs before you get your second shot. Then I was like, Still a gas to lay in your area. You want to take a chance. So I decided just go ahead and do it now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. This is the emergency fund in the dead update. I am going to flip to the back of my Gooseby Swim Planner because that's where I keep the information about my emergency fund. There. And we need to actually flip to here. I need to pull this out as well as our debt tracking sheets. And we need to pull out this, which is our emergency fund sheets. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this around. And first and foremost, we always start with the emergency fund worksheet. This worksheet actually tells us what we need to secure our four walls. This is what I consider bare bones. I use this as a guide. Um, I haven't made any changes, though there has been changes to a couple bills. But right now, to secure my home for one month, I need to have at least $2,498.46. So... Let's first go here because we need to find out what we have. And when we left off, it was $5,460.97. Well, no. When we left off, it was $5,384.69. There has been interest of one cent that came from the smaller emergency fund interest. Then I did my envelope system deposit of $55.06 and I decided to send the unbudget $21.21 to my emergency fund. So that was a total of $76.27. So that brought us to $5,460.97. Then I received interest from the larger emergency fund account of $1.30. So that gets us five thousand four hundred sixty two dollars and twenty seven okay, it was literally staring me in the face i messed up the calculation when i added this for some reason i added it to be a dollar thirty and i did it again and it should have been a dollar thirty six and so that would have got me five thousand four hundred sixty two dollars and thirty three cent then we add the sixteen fifty and that will get us to where we said we were on our sheet. Okay, easy peasy. Back to the video. So based on this emergency fund progress sheet, we have our one month goal of $2,498.46. And I asked myself if I reached that and that is a yes, so I put a check so I don't need anything. For my three month goal, it's a total $7,495.38. Have I reached that? No, I have not. So. We put an X and then we minus the $5,478.83. So we need $2,016.55 to reach our three month goal. Then we have $1,490.76 for our six month goal. Of course, I have not reached that because I haven't reached my three month goal. So we're going to minus what we have currently. And so we need $9,511.93 to reach that goal. So that's where we at with our emergency fund progress. Now we're still in the month of the May. So I still haven't month of the May. <sighs> Slow down, D. We're still in the month of May. So I still have my envelope system 
deposit from my income breakdown number two that I can put towards my emergency fund. I still have um, some other funds that I can look into transferring here. So this will be the last emergency fund and um, for the before the vacation. When I come back, we'll just update and see where we're at, what we're able to do in the month of June. So that's where we're at with that. Next thing we have is our debt update. The debt sets highlighted in green. These are debts I've already paid. We were working on loan SBL2. I did make a large payment and we were just waiting for the payroll deduction to go through. And so the payment for that was actually $13.54 because as stated, there is interest that is charged on the loan on, on the loan itself, but the interest in the principal is actually deposited in my account. This is actually 6.50% um, APR. The amount that actually was paid for debt was $13.51. So leaving with a zero. Yes. Okay. So now is our car loan, which we're not aggressively paying off our car loan. Um, we made our normal payment of $280.14. This has gone down to, I think, let me double check. I think I have it here somewhere. I thought I wrote it down so I won't forget, but let me look at the last one and maybe the last one will drop my memory where this one should be. Um, 14.49. Is it lower than that? Hmm, no, okay. 14.49% is where we're at with that. And so the amount that was actually paid for that, because now we're back on track with more of the payment that I'm making, a larger amount of it is being sent to principal over the interest. And the reason is I am actually paying ahead because I pay every 28th day, I'm actually making an extra payment a year and so what happens is the payment that i made in may was actually for june and when i make the payment in june it's for july so i'm actually a one month ahead with that so 151 dollars and 22 cent went to my principal so let's minus that from the beginning balance of $11,465.18, $151.22, so $11,313.90, 96 cents, so slow progress. As stated, um, student loans is still on hold. It's, um, I have no access to them at this time because of bankruptcy, so I don't know where I'm sitting at. A portion of them are federal, so they're not earning interest. A smaller, well, the larger portion of it is federal. The smaller portion is not federal at this point. So it, I learned that these loans were tied in, was tied into federal prior to bankruptcy. But when I went into bankruptcy, it had to go back to its originator, which was the state. And so that's why they are the ones that's earning interest and they're probably earning buku of interest. So we won't know what's going on. I haven't received an email from the last time when I was supposed to get the update about how many more payments. But when I check, it looked like they have a line to return money back to me. So maybe I'm, I've am i overpaid this month and I will be receiving something and I don't have to pay in June. I will reach out to my lawyer to double check before I start dishing out money for my June budget. So the ending balance for the current debt that I have is $11,313.96. Oh, how I wish that was all the debt I had left. Whew. Okay, so the ending balance 
$11,313.96. I'm gonna place that in both areas. And we're gonna mine it. So this month starting balance was $11,478.69. The ending balance $11,313.96. And you probably can't see it. Probably couldn't see none of that. Hope you can see it now. Um, so the amount that was debt of uh, debt that was paid off was just $164.73. We have months like this where we paying large chunks and some where we're not. Um, like I said, that I was able to pay off the loans that I wanted to pay by a certain time. My car loan, I have not devised a plan for it thus far because I'm really trying to see where I'm at with my suit loans to kind of get a feel of everything. So the starting balance for the year, $14,895.54. The ending balance gets us, so, so far I paid off $3,581.58 within the five months, okay? So it's small progress, but it is progress, and it was more progress than I ever made in years past, and that's what I'm happy about. Uh oh, look at us making a mistake. So we have this debt free land sheet. This is the last one. So let's get us a. Oh, I think I used the other colors, but I don't feel like getting up and go get it, y'all. So we're going to have to use one of these. And let's use yellow. I like the other one. So. There don't need to be any music or fast, and we just have this one spot, and we are at the finish line. Yes, didn't stay in, in my lines. Let's go ahead and color this in, but make this look like a mess. I wonder why mine's run so bad. Um. There we go. Let's just color it in because I really have no sense of coloring anyway. So let's just color this all the way in. Yes, finish. We are finished with SBL 2. So this is my emergency fund and my debt update. And I will See you in the next video. We still have a weekly check-in and we have the budget closeout slash budget with me situation going on. So you will definitely be seeing that soon. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be part of my village. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to all my returning subscribers. Thank you. Everyone hit that thumbs up and please share this with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Peace out.